Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I found a very cool tip uh, on the Tableau and would like to share with you. Uh, this is on the bar chart. And uh, you know, in my screen here, uh, you can see I have a stack um, bar chart. And uh, I, um, I have some, uh, you know, some, uh, something uh, special today in order to build the label of the uh, of the two batches stacked on to, um, you know stacked up together here in order to have a total number here at the outside of the bar and in the left hand side you can see I have a subcategory name here I put inside the bar so let's um, uh, build this one together I, I would like to share this good uh, tip uh, tableau tip for one of you okay um, if I start from the uh, new one so I print the, uh, the product category in and um, I print the sales in here right? and I convert it to the bar put it in Okay, and then I print this uh, order the in just uh, see two years. You know, if I just put one year and then I print the sales into the label, normally you have the label in here. But it's uh, now if I print um, if I print two years together, right? I bring order the in here and I print years. We see, I take two years. And um, if I uh, differentiate two years by the color, right? So you can see actually the label is it no longer up here, you know, on the outside the back, inside. Right? So let uh, um, and it look uh, it look uh, it, it not very well organized. So I print it out. Right? Let's say okay. I print. I want to put the total number in here. So normally I do is just to share with you. So I go to the a reference line and in here I put a sum uh, per sales right and in here I click total right? and then uh, on the label I put a value yeah I just disappear light I just disappear the line right and um, Let's put the number sorted. It's I go to the label. Oh, I go sorry. I go to the. Um, uh, oh. Let me just go to the format. The number here. I can put it to the number custom. I put it a thousand. And uh, let match the color of this. Okay, so the first thing is uh, the first part of the uh, of the question have been solved, right? So you can have a total uh, number outside the bar. Right? Okay, that's a good one. So the second thing is how to um, um, how to print um, this label here. Go to inside, right? So it, uh, um, easy with this. So you just put uh, here. You just put uh, zero. Calculated uh, calculated field, right? And um, you can go to the to assist. Let's uh, convert to the bar. Uh, and do the synchronization. And then in here, you print the subcategories. Uh, I think it's uh, on the second one. You print the subcategory into the label. So now you can see at least these subcategories appear, you know, inside the bar. So let's uh, do the uh, format to make it cooler. Uh, I think in here, 
let's put it like the, some color that can reflect into oh sorry not this one mm, I think I can uh, hide the shoulder here right? and back to this one let's go to the second one let's subcut right here go to the format uh, go to the format red color no it's not red color clear that black color right if we go right attention okay okay so here's is uh you said how i build this uh, how i put this uh, label inside or outside of the bar chart so i hope uh, you found it uh, useful for your uh, data uh, visualization and uh, have a good day.